I'm really pissed off. Been pissed off for a couple of days now. So, oh. well, let me show you the video. That's my house. That's my hat. That's my gun. That's about fifteen thousand dollars worth of my stuff. But that's not me. Some asshole broke into my house while I was at work. Stole all of my guns. Trashed a couple of my guitars. Didn't take them, just trashed them. Uh, stole all of my watches. Except for the one I was wearing at the time. Um, so, pro let's see. He took eight guns. Uh, let's say... Let, let's average it out. Let's say $400 each. Eight times 400 that's over three thousand dollars in guns. Um, he took all my watches. One of the watches was worth about two thousand dollars by itself, uh, plus fourteen others. So probably about uh, three thousand dollars for the watches. Um, he took all my cameras. I'm recording on my phone right now. I can't make any more videos unless I'm using my phone until I get a replacement. Let's say $500 in GoPros and camera accessories. Um, he took... If you look there, he, he found the keys to the, the gun rack here. Uh, threw the hats in on the ground. And then, you know, the most valuable one, he threw it on the ground and then took the, the Benjamin Prowler. Um, the only guns he left me were these three. Uh, and two other pellet guns that he probably didn't see in the corner over there. And a 410 shotgun. And my black powder revolver. Which you can believe is not leaving my side ever again. Um, he took my 1911. He took my 38. He took my Walter PK. He took my Ruger Wrangler. Took my deer rifle. Took my 20 gauge shotgun. And took my 22 rifle. Uh, seven guns. Eight if you count the pellet gun. And uh, to top it all off, he, you know, I mean, you guys have seen on my wall and stuff, I'm, I'm a big sports memorabilia collector as well. Uh, he went into one of my closets and grabbed an armful of autographed jerseys, which honestly weren't all worth that, that much. Maybe. Five hundred dollars for everything he took there. Not, I'm not too bothered by that. But he also went and found two binders of one of baseball cards. Well, they were both baseball cards, uh, full of autographs and stuff. Uh, one of them was a, a card set that I've had since I was since it came out. It was a 2001 Topps card set. I've had it for 20 years. I had the whole set. I was actually getting the whole thing autographed, and I was about. Uh, halfway through. There's 790 cards in that set and I had over 420 autographs. Uh, he took that, something I've been working on for almost my entire life. And that's the one that bothers me the most. Because that's, you know, I just had that for so long. So he took that. The value of that right now was probably at about $4,000 with all the autographs in it. You know, let's just say they're ten dollars each but it's probably worth a lot more because there were some autographs in there that were worth a, that were worth a couple of hundred by themselves uh, then he he took another binder that was underneath that that was full of nothing but hall of fame players a lot of old old school players that died a long time ago stuff that can't be replaced uh, that was probably worth another three or four thousand dollars and then he stole my backpack to fill every and filled it up with everything. And you saw in the video there he walked out with everything. Uh, yeah. But to top it off, uh, the next night I was at work again because I mean I'm, I'm not gonna miss work. I had to get my lock fixed because he punched out the lock on like on the way out. He broke the lock off the door. Leaving. He came in through the bathroom window. Uh, 
so he's a little guy. He's not big at all. He climbed in through the bathroom window. Uh, and then broke the lock off the door to get out instead of just, you know, opening the door and leaving. Uh, which, I mean, he could have done that through the back door. But he took the lock off, messed it up. And the next night while I was at work, my notifications went off again for my motion sensor. And the motherfucker came back again. And uh, I was at work. I couldn't leave right away. But I called 911. They, you know, I didn't get the same cops that had dealt with me the day before. Uh, which all the serial numbers for all the guns are, I had records of them. So, that's there. They're in the system is stolen now. But the cops got here and uh, I got here a little while. They waited for me to get here. And I could see where he tried to get in again. But he, he wasn't able to. Uh, I think he heard the sirens coming and took off because uh, I talked to one of my neighbors uh, in the morning and uh, he said the cops woke him up when they were coming up because they had all their sirens and everything real loud so the guy heard him and probably jumped into the alley and took off uh, yeah. but this guy like when I first saw the first video that just showed you there he I thought he looked kind of young maybe you know like maybe he was another like outdoors fisherman guy that seen my channel or something but then seeing the new video, uh, this one here, yeah, he's not clean, he's not young, he's just a bum walking around looking for empty houses. Uh, and he's probably on drugs because when I got home and uh, the first night and called the cops and stuff, I seen all the screens were the security screens and stuff were well not security screens they're just, all the window screens were pulled off the windows on the side of the house and in the back and you could see where he'd wedged a crowbar in and was trying to pry one of them open the dumbass left his the crowbar he was using a tire iron that was there they've dusted it for fingerprints uh, he dropped his glove outside one of the windows and then when he got into the house this is his flashlight it's all black and dirty from being dusted for fingerprints this is what he was using to look around outside and when he got into the house and he left this here because he decided to take all my uh, the flashlights that I did on the Amazon review on I'd left one of them on my kitchen table the cheap little plastic black flashlight that you have to charge up that he didn't take a charger. He probably thinks it takes batteries. He's probably going to break it open trying to replace the batteries one day. Uh, so he left this and took that. Uh, so that's been dusted for fingerprints. And on top of the stuff that he left there, he also left this. Uh, it was Lucky Charms and milk. And I thought maybe this came out of my trash. But then I realized that I don't have any cereal or milk. So he brought this with him, sat down and ate breakfast at five o'clock in the morning while he was robbing me. You know, he got to take his time. He went through, he went through everything. There's a, a, a room in this house that's just storage for the landlord that I don't use. He went in there, went through everything. He went through all my drawers. He didn't touch any of the stuff that's on my wall except for this gun. And yeah, like I've got autograph stuff on the walls. He didn't touch any of that. He, he went looking for the hidden stuff, like the binders and the jerseys that were in the closet. Um, he looked under the bed for stuff, but there's nothing under there. Like he pulled out, there was like a plastic container thing in there, but there's nothing really in it. And yeah, so he stole everything from me pretty much. Everything of value that, well, all of my guns, that's, that's the big thing. And... Yeah, I mean, can't do anything about it now. So I'm trying not to be all pissed off about it anymore, but uh, since he came back that next day and I've got clear footage of him and know what he looks like now, I know he lives in this area, I'm going to find him. Another thing he stole, I just thought about uh, in the video when he's walking out the door. Well, 
let me start off by saying in the video where he walks up to the door, the second one that's in color, he's wearing a Texas A&M hat, similar to this one with the camouflage brim, but it's a gray hat with a Texas A&M logo. But in the original video when he was leaving my house, uh, you can actually see that Texas A&M hat in his arm with all the other stuff. <clears throat> that's because he stole this hat with camouflage brim it's black it's got my logo my name on it uh there's only two of these in existence this is a brand new one i had two of them made custom made this one was on the wall for display the other one's the one i wore uh, he went through my hat collection and I'll, of all my hats there he took this one he took the one that's the most identifiable you know the one thing that uh, if if we ever see somebody wearing it we know who it was we know where they got it so that's like you're gonna take a cheap angler hat I'm not a big youtuber I'm not famous why would you steal that of all things you know you didn't take the beefcake hat from flair you didn't take all the, the other nice hats I have the buds bait and tackle uh, you know, all the stuff that's up on my wall, all the sports team's hats. He took my hat with my name on it. It's another reason why at first I thought maybe it was somebody that's seen my channel. But uh, looking at that second video, he's just a crackhead or something that got lucky and found a house that was empty at night. And thought maybe it was still empty this, the next day and came back. And, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, I'm keeping myself calm. There's nothing I can do about all the missing stuff. Uh, hopefully some of it turns up and I can get some of it back. Um, but I've also had a lot of people, you know, who follow the channel and friends and stuff who've reached out. And uh, they're asking for a way to help. They want to donate money and all that. And I really appreciate that. All the people that are supporting me and helping me. Uh, but I'm not here to beg for money. I'm not going to take anybody's money. Uh, I mean, he took he took probably fifteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff, but it was stuff. It wasn't actual money. So monetarily, I'm still in the same situation I was in before. You know, I mean, I'm not rich, but I mean, he didn't. I'm I'm still going to be able to pay, pay my bills. So I don't I don't need the money. I don't need the donations. I'm not going to ask for that. Uh, just watching my channel and supporting me the way you've already been doing is enough. Uh, if you wanted to look through the, the links in the descriptions and stuff and buy something on Amazon for yourself through my links, I'd get a commission on it. That's enough. You don't have to. I don't need any donations. Uh, what I do need is more content so uh, I'm gonna try to, to hook up with a couple of the guys that reached out to me and make new videos with them uh, unfortunately I can't film right now until I get a new chest strap which I'm gonna get that it's not a big deal uh, he left me one GoPro so I, I'm uh, GoPro Hero 4 silver which is honestly probably one of the best GoPros they've ever made it's just kind of old um, the one, the one he took was a Hero 7 White, which honestly I was going to get rid of that anyway. The Hero 7 White and the Hero 7 Silver are, are garbage. Uh, the Hero 7 Black is, is a great GoPro, great camera, and everything after that seems to be fine. Uh, so I will be getting a new one eventually, but for right now I'm just going to revert back to going with the Hero 4. Uh, and as soon as I get a chest strap, I'll get back into filming. And, yeah, uh, I'm working on a couple of other videos right now. He was I was right in the middle of one, and I had my camera set up on my table to record what I was doing. Uh, I was carving a new hand bait out of wood. I was making a jointed swim bait. So I had the camera set up recording the swim bait and everything, and he grabbed it from there. Uh, but I still have the swim bait. That video is still coming. It's it's finished. I just need a chest strap to go fishing with it. Um, luckily for me, I 
transferred all the video files onto my computer before he took the camera. So I didn't lose any footage. That would have hurt a little bit more than just taking the camera. And, uh, yeah, um, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. I hope you keep doing it. And uh, I hope we find this guy. I know he's in this area. I know what to look for now. The cops know what to look for now. I made sure it, I gave it to all the patrolling officers that are in the area. And, uh, yeah, well, I guess uh, on Saturday or, to, well, when this comes out, it'll be tomorrow. I'm going to head down to Apache Rifle Works in Comfort and see if I can meet Kentucky Ballistics and Demolition Ranch, Goldberg, and uh, uh, Robert Oberersk and Cy Robertson are all going to be there. They're going to be selling guns. And guess what? I need new guns. So... Uh, I don't have much money right now. I'm probably going to have to skip paying a couple of bills, but I need to get something. Uh, I mean, this is more than capable of defending myself with, but it's kind of limited. So, I, I when I get there, I'll decide what I'm going to get. I need a new deer rifle, and I need a new sidearm. So, I haven't decided which one I'm going to get. Hopefully, I have some, they have something I can afford, and they haven't all sold out yet when I get there. Um... But yeah, that'll be another video you'll probably see on Monday. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for offering to help. Uh, but let's be honest, the help I need, no one can really give me. So, um, thank you. And I'll see you next time.